Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today's video is another collaboration. This time with my friend Betty Jean. You may know her as Batty Bean. Betty Jean and I have become friends over the past year or so. We actually first started talking online because of this palette that she released with Shroud Cosmetics. This is the It's Freaking Bats palette. When this came out, I thought it was so interesting. I immediately purchased it, started sharing about it, and that's how we started DMing and eventually became friends. She now has a second sequel palette with Shroud, the Halloween palette. So quick shout out to Betty Jean's collab palettes. These are both really beautiful. She definitely has an eye for color. She has a super cool, interesting style. And these palettes she created are really great. Before we get into our video, I just wanted to share these and sing their praises and encourage you to check out Betty Jean's palettes. I really like both of them. I've swatched them and I actually just did a tutorial not too long ago with this one. If I had to pick one, I think I would pick the It's Freaking Bats palette, but they're both just really beautiful. Well done. Always hype your friends. Now, with all that being said, one of the things that Betty Jean and I have in common is a love of building your own palettes. She and I both love to create inspired BYOPs, taking different sources of inspiration and using our single shadows to create new color stories and curate our own little palettes. She has a highlight on her Instagram. I'll share a picture here so you can go check out some of her other palettes that she's built. She's got a great eye for color and she comes up with really fun, interesting color stories. So when we decided to do a collaboration together this month, I knew that inspired BYOPs was really gonna be a perfect fit for us for our collaboration. So we decided to put a sort of holiday twist on it and we selected a holiday themed photo for one another to use as inspiration. So she actually sent me two photos, but they're obviously taken at the same time. It's a picture of her little kitty cat with the glow of the Christmas lights and the little Christmas tree. It's so cute. I love this inspiration. When I started building my idea off of these photos, I don't just wanna take the literal colors from the photographs. I want to also kind of capture the same feelings that are in the photo. And for me, this is really all about glow and sort of the contrast between light and dark. And it's obviously Christmassy. It's obviously very Christmas centric, but it's not the traditional posed in front of the Christmas tree, bright, cheery, you know, stockings in the background. It does have that contrast. It has a little bit of moodiness. So I wanted to take all of those things into account when I was choosing the shades for my palette. So first I'll show you the process of building my palette, organizing it, and then of course I'll show you all the shades swatched and we'll also do a little tutorial because, spoiler alert, I am wearing this palette on my eyes right now, so I'll show you the palette that I built in action as well. First things first, you need an empty palette before you start building a palette. I decided to go with a nine pan this time. I felt like doing anything larger was really gonna overwork this inspiration. And also Betty Jean does a lot of nine pans and smaller BYOPs. Plus the scale of this picture is just smaller. So I felt like it was fitting overall. Now the first thing I knew I wanted besides a lot of sparkle was a really white and black type of shadow because I want to play with that concept of light and dark and the contrast there. So I knew that I wanted to do those and I did go for a sparklier version. Next, there are a lot of warm, creamy tones in the photo and I felt like these would also work well as transition shades or blending shades for other brighter, bolder, and deeper colors that I wanted to add into the palette. So I decided to do Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek and Recluse from Lethal. These are just those perfect warm, creamy mattes for the color story I'm gonna build. 
Next, I needed a very sparkly Christmas tree green. This is Beyond Apollo from Terra Moons, and I'm going to put a lot of light reflective, not just sparkly, but also shifty colors. Because there's so much glow in the inspo pick, I really want to bring that feeling into the shades I chose. And of course, I needed even more green. Since the Christmas tree is so prominent in my inspo pick, I wanted to bring that light and dark concept, the contrast of a bright green and a deep foresty green in with some matte shadows. These are also from Lethal Cosmetics. I did stay very indie heavy with my singles. I just feel like that is very Betty Jean style as well. So I'm also bringing some of her taste into this palette as well. This is not just a photo inspired palette. This is also a Betty Jean inspired palette to a degree. So I chose some more Terra Moons shifty shadows because I really wanted to capture that glow of the lights reflecting off of the branches and off of the cute little kitty cat. This particular shadow is perfect because it's a red green gold multi-chrome and it has tons of sparkle so it is perfect for this palette then i started arranging them first i just put all the greens together down the center but i felt like that wasn't exactly what i was going for because i wanted each column to be a bit of a look in and of itself so i moved the darkest green down to the bottom row because my overall vision was that the first column would be a very very christmasy look the center column would be more of just a straight up evergreen look and then the very last column is not really christmasy at all but it's very betty jean all together, you know, you can mix and match these, but that was my vision when I was arranging the singles here. I think that I really captured what I was looking for out of the shades here. I needed a lot of sparkle and a lot of glow, but I also needed some great base mattes to create looks with. And I think that I captured the overall vibes that I was going for. If you look at the pictures here side by side, it's not perfectly literal, but I feel like the colors definitely match the photo in shade and also just the feeling, the vibes. Here are all the shades swatched together on my arm. That way you can get a feeling for what they actually look like applied to the skin. I really like how this color story is bright and cheerful, but also a little bit grungy and moody at the same time. It's really what I was going for for this palette, and I absolutely love how these colors came together. Here's a shot of the swatches without the ring light. Because these are so shifty, I like to show them in several different lighting situations. Now I want to show you the look I created using this little inspired palette. Of course, I start by priming my lids. I love my ColourPop Party Proof Primer. I just got a new one, so I am definitely converted to this primer. Next, I just set the primer all over with a little dusting of this peach smoothie shadow from Makeup Geek. This is a nice little skin tone shade for me if I don't use too much of it. Next up is Recluse from Lethal. This looks really, really yellowy in the pan, but when it's applied to the eye, it does have a bit more of a green tint to it. It's definitely more of a chartreuse than the mustard yellow that it appears in the pan. At least to me, it looks more mustardy. So I'm just building that color up in the crease area and bringing it up a little bit more towards my brow bone. We're going to do more blending there as well. First, I'm going to add a little bit of this shade called Eden using a smaller fluffy brush. And that's more on the outer part of my eye and also blending that upwards into the crease as well. Just bringing a little bit more of that Christmas tree green into the look. Then I'm going to take kind of a sharp turn away from the Christmassy vibe and go in with this sparkly matte black from ColourPop. It's called Night Dream, and I'm using a small flat brush to really build that up on the outer and inner corners of the eye. 
This is the framework for my spotlight eye look. So I am leaving the center of the eye blank and I'm not doing too much here. I don't want to cover too much of my lid space with this black. I really want it to be as subtle as a matte black shadow on your lid could be. Then I'm taking this Terra Moon shadow called Beyond Apollo and using my finger to apply that, I'm tapping it on the center of the lid, really concentrating that color right in the middle and then gently tapping to blend out towards where I placed the matte black. I don't want to cover too much of that matte black, but I want to make sure it's all nicely blended. Went back with a little bit more of Lethal's Eden to smooth out the edges there. And then more Recluse, not just to blend out the transition there in the crease, but I also added that to the lower lash line because I did feel like I needed some more color down there, but I didn't want to go too dark on the lower lash line and overwork the look. Then I used Europa and I brushed that along my brow bone. I also added it to my inner corners, but I was completely out of frame when I did that step. So I'm just telling you now I did add it. You can see here, I put a little dab of that on the inner corner as well. Then I curled my lashes, added some NARS Climax mascara, and that's my finished look. I feel like this look came together perfectly. It's definitely an intersection between my style and Betty Jean's style. It's a little bit deeper, grungier than what I would usually do, but I didn't go full on with the liner and lashes. She tends to do some really graphic eye looks, so I sort of used her depth, sparkly, shifty type of looks to inspire me, but used my own preferred techniques. And I feel like it's the perfect marriage between our eye looks and it really encapsulates the feeling of this palette as well. So I am just so, so pleased with how this look turned out. I had to switch my lip color because I was wearing Max Devoted to Chili because I thought, oh, I'm gonna do a green eye look and then I'll have a red lip, but it just didn't match the vibe. It was a little too autumnal orangey red, like a fall leaf, and I needed something that was more moody, like a moody berry. I switched over to this one from the It's a Small World collection, the Glossy Lip Stain and I think it's really cute. I had so much fun working on this palette, on this collaboration. I really like the look that I came up with. I love this combination of colors. It definitely has the Christmas theme in there, but it's like a grungy goth take on Christmas. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I loved working on this project with Betty Jean. I can absolutely see us working on more things like this together in the future. I highly, highly encourage you, if you haven't already, to go check her out on both YouTube and Instagram. I'm gonna link all of her stuff below and I'm gonna link her video because I sent her an inspo pic, so if you wanna see what she comes up with, definitely go check out her video, go show her some love, subscribe to her channel. She's just a really lovely person. She's so creative and talented and she has such a cool style. Her style is very different from mine and she does really great in-depth depth tutorial videos and I just genuinely really like her so go check out Betty Jean, go show her video some love and stay tuned to this channel because there are plenty more collaborations coming throughout the month of December. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about the palette I created. What kind of colors would you have chosen for the same inspiration? I always love to hear what you think about things too so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I feel like a like a glittering gothic scarab beetle in the best way, best way possible. That may not sound good to some of you, but it's excellent, trust me. Okay, back, focus, focus. If you wanted just a straight up, really, really Christmassy look, you could just use these three, just these three, little trio. Cute, huh? I think so. Christmas, but make it grungy goth. Working up a sweat. Oh, and I wore my little, my little holiday snowflake earrings. I made these for my Etsy shop. I've been wearing them so much. They're my favorite little holiday earrings because they're so subtle, but they look good with everything. 
go check out the Etsy shop after you're done subscribing to Betty Jean's channel. <laughs> All right, I got places to go, people to see. Well, I don't have any people to see. I'm gonna stay in my house and edit. But my place to go is over there to my desk where I edit. Thanks for hanging out. That's cool. I'm happy you're here and I think you're awesome. And you know what? I love your face and I'll see you real soon. Okay, bye.